Hi folks, I'm Elga Valovirta, and on this one I'm gonna show you how to play Ozzy Osbourne's Perry Mason. The tuning is drop D tuning, but half step lower. So you tune all your strings to E flat, and then you drop the E string to D flat. The intro, classic bass riff. <laughs> But since this is a guitar lesson, let's leave that at that. And then the song kicks in with classic Hendrix chords. So D7 sharp 9. Sometimes I hear the major third in there, and sometimes I hear just. Slight difference, but I guess you know Zach just played like you know with a. So sometimes the major third is there, sometimes not. Then comes the main riff, the chorus riff. It starts with unison bends. So basically what you do, you have this note D, and then you bend this note C to D. Then you go up, E, F, F G, A. And then it's B flat, and then this pick, slide, slash, you know, next slide. C and then pitch harmonic on, on C. A, this is, this is drop tuning here. You can play the A here. But I like the sound of. And more, and then you can add a little bit of, you know, vibrato. So, once more. Slowly. Cool. And the way you do pinch harmonics, I already showed that on the how to play no more cheers, but you play with your with the side of your thumb and with your pick normally. But then when you so you can have pinch harmonics happening all over the neck. Okay, then comes the, the verse riff. It goes like this. Cool. So it's D, but it's played like with open D, and then D here, and D, D here. Like octave chord, and then you mute the B string with your first finger. You can play it down or down up. I usually play down up, because it gives you the different flavor, because down, the you hit the low D first, and when you do upstroke, you hit the high D first. So it's kind of because down, down. It's a little bit different. And then the classic blue scale lick that you know, no more cheers uses. I use this a lot. So. Again, pinch on the G. Well, this is actually F because we're dropped, but I'm gonna talk like, you know, slowly. And then the vocals kicks in. So it's, you know, really simple, but. Awesome, awesome lick riff. Then the pre chorus, it goes like this. G. 
G-string and a little bit sharp. You know the usual Les Paul thing, because these aren't locking tutors, these are old school. With with the, you know, locking these kind of growers, it, it usually stays tuned better. So what happens, the, it, it goes like in, in thirds, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then this kind of it's like D and D slash G. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Slight bend. Kind of half, half step. And then instead of. So it's C there, so it's kind of D slash C chord. And then comes again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's kind of like, you kind of slide to D on the 12th fret. So once more, and yeah, then comes the last part, it's C. C to F, uh, G to F, and pinch harmonic and really wide vibrato on, on C, and then this chromatic. So slowly this. Like that. So the rhythm is really like, you know, di, 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 di. it's kind of, you know, a little bit odd, but you know, you practice it, you know, get familiar, play along, you, you get it. But it's important that it's understand that it's in, in threes. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's the, you know. And then comes the chorus, and then the main riff, pre chorus. Then the, the C part, there's actually two guitars going on all the time. I mean, on the album, that's, everything's double, but here's like two different things happening. So the the first, or another guitar, doing like this. So, B flat, and then F, pinch harmonics, E, C sharp. It's E and G. So the ringing notes are actually different because it's pinch, but you press on the E and G and do pinch. And the other guitar is doing it. So it's B flat, and then F, it's unison, and then it, it changes to G, which creates a third harmony. And here, again, another third harmony of, to the previous guitar. So together, they're, they're kind of like... Like this, minor third. And then the second part is... So that creates a fifth harmony and unisono. <laughs> really, really cool. So there's like unisono minor third and fifth harmonies. Both slowly once more. And they both end with two, three, five. 
power chords. And the other... Like that. Then comes the second part of the C part, which goes like... So it's B flat, A, this is G, but drop tuning is here. E, you know, second fret. And then F, and this is kind of like E slash F. You, you move just your first finger one step lower. And then C and D. That's the first guitar and then the second. So in the beginning it goes the same. Here it starts to do melody. Like there. So kind of like accenting the the chord. So it's like Music D natural minor scale. Okay? And then the solo, there's these little things that it's hardly audible, but it's there like. So it starts like one, two, diddle, 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 one, two, diddle, 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 one, two. Like that. And then the solo is with wah. I'm gonna play it with wah first, the full solo, and then let's break that into pieces. Like that. Again, another great solo from Zach where he uses double stops, pentatonics, plus scale, uh, diatonic modes, uh, natural, natural mode, and you know, some tapping and stuff. So, you know, it, it starts. I'm gonna play this without wah, you know, you can hear it more clearly, hopefully. <laughs> it's kind of like this. <laughs> D, first D, minor, pentatonic, blues, alien mode box. So, classic. So you slowly bend it to, like, to full step. First full step, then down, back. Is the Aeolian mode, natural minor. That's, you know, if you do it like a little bit sharp, it's it's very, these, these bends, they, you know, good player, that's everything's, you know, phrasing and bends and stuff. So, pull-offs. Then comes this tapping, like, this is so fast that, you know, <laughs> but at least this, how I play it, sounds pretty close. So I'm gonna do it, like, 
slowly. So. Like that. The rhythm is same on on the on like yeah, piece by piece. So and these days on the G string on, on C sharp and D notes with two fingers the whole time and the rhythm is quite simple. Cool, and then it changes a bit. So it, it starts with the C, 17th fret. So it's like four times. Two times. One. Slowly once more. Then it, it then it's kind of this. Again, natural D minor, A O N mode. So Okay, and then comes uh, kind of panatonic click. So slowly. This uses the first two pentatonic boxes. And then this uses the second, but it, it incorporates a major note in there. And then the last is again standard pentatonic so with a wah wah and a little bit faster like that and then basic pentatonic blue slicks double stops similar what he uses in normal cheers so Unison bends. It's kind of like. It's like really, you know, vibrato, you know, put power. And then comes these cool double stops. So, double stops is you mean play two strings like. Kind of country like. So you bend. Like that. And then comes this fast diatonic lick, natural D minor, he uses the third box, which is the Ionian box mode. So major. So if you would play this box here on D, it would be major. But since it's here, related to the Aeolian box. This is minor, but the shape of the box is Ionian. So, major box, but minor key. So, it, it's, it's like this. I mean, it's really fast. We can tell what he actually played, but this sounds like kind of it. So, neck pickup. Okay, once more the full solo with a wah. Yeah! <laughs> 
something like that. And then the, the chorus, and then the, the outro, it's, it's like these octave chords. <laughs> As you know, if this will be normal tuning, this will be the octave shape, but... So you mute the A string with your... Or if you play it like this, with your first finger, if like this, your middle finger. I play it like this, so get more kind of power and control. And slight bend. Just a bit, little bit and a little bit vibrato. And all three strings palm muted. Sometimes live when we play this, I, I also incorporated the the, the fifth, but octave higher, so it's also pretty cool. Use it on the second part, so it just grows even more. Hey, I was. Perry Mason, fantastic song, fantastic album, Osmosis. I think a little bit underrated, but it's there's lots of really cool cool songs and, and riffs and, and stuff. Steve Y also wrote, I think, one song. There was other songwriters too than just Ozzy and Zach, but yeah, great, great album. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like, thumbs up, hit the bell, subscribe, you know the drill. Until next time, take care. Bye.